Craft and See Me with Laura B. And I am here as a continuation of the video that will go up tomorrow, which was yesterday for y'all and the same day for me. So that's not confusing enough. Well, I'm sorry I can't make it any more confusing. I can surely make it less confusing though. Anyway, maybe not. Um, so yesterday I showed you, sorry, there's a dog head on there. Um, how to make your own homemade jelly printing stencils. Um, I have a whole box that I have made, plus others. These I bought, a set of 10 I think it was. And I think I might get those out as well. Sorry. Dusty. Dusty. And boy, they're loud. Rustling into the so what we're gonna do is just have a good old play day. Oh, crying in a bucket. Where are they all? I think I need a bigger box. I definitely need a bigger box. But while it has been two days for you, it has been one for me. It's the same as not even one. You had to you had to sleep see this I am still doing it in the same day anyway so here are all the ones I've already done complete with their nifty little handles because you know you got to have something to grab onto and then these are um, a cake decorating set of things I bought which are considerably cheaper than buying it you know buying the ones for jelly printing all right so I've got all these let me put them up where I want them so I can see. I am semi-organized today. Or this time. Some more of my jelly prints that I did a while ago. So, I just thought... Mm, I think I was inspired by Kim from doing this. She did it a couple days ago, I think. I gotta get some lotion on my hands. I went outside in the meantime... And uh, I purchased three lavender plants, well-established established lavender plants, because that's about the only flower that I'm not allergic to, the scent that I am not allergic to, and I love it. So I have one that, I can't remember where I got it, a couple of years ago, and maybe last year, and it's kind of established. It, you know, it, it they weren't seeds. I don't think I planted seeds. I can't remember. But anyway, they're they're small. And these already have flowers on them and stuff. So I planted those and replanted my hens and chicks because they didn't like where they were. Uh, my upper deck, it's I live on a hill. And so the upper deck, this they didn't put a retaining wall or anything there. So all the soil and the sand is actually sand because the people who own this property, OMG, did they just... <sighs> anyway, and my dog would get up and under there and then tromp through and, you know, ruin what little I had. And so I took that wire fencing, you know, that has the, like, this, this, yeah, they look like this. And then there's, I don't know what it's called. I don't know this stuff. I, uh, anyway, so I, I semi-stapled that, use those, uh, round wooden staples, I think, that wood staples. I don't know what they're called. Uh, again, I, <sighs> I don't know all the proper names. But anyway, so that's how I attached them to the deck. So my dog couldn't come through there. It's more of a deterrent than, you know, it's not going to keep a angry horde of, a horde of angry baboons. Um, a congress, I think is what they call baboons. Or, you know, some kind of ape. A congress of angry baboons, as Julie <laughs> Camille Crafts Design says. But anyway, it won't hold them back. But it will deter my dog from tromping through there. And so I got that all done. And then I had a passion flower that I don't know what's wrong with her. But she was well established and doing very well on the west side of the house. And then over the winter, she just went tits up. And most of it was dead. And it was weird because I'd have branches that were dead. And then that was alive. And so that got sacrificed. She got pruned all the way back. You know, so... Instead of being big and bushy, she's little and tall. 
It's getting in tall. Anyway, so here we are. I'm back. There's my little rant, and well, not rant, but winding explanation. And we're going to get started on doing more of this. Um, and like I said, I'm just playing. I'm not an expert in any way. I'm an expert at not being an expert. Let's just call it that way. And I'm just going to spray this down with some water. And then kind of go over it and reactivate it a little bit. Is that on there? Nope. Okay. I was playing around with... Uh, I'm doing a challenge with Tommy from Paper Crafting with Miss Tommy and Rhoda from Rhoda Burks. And then Keong Shot while we're doing a Think Outside the Box challenge. And so I was playing around with my... When it's my turn at the end of the month. Uh, and there's the holographic glitter right there. Anyway. My original idea that I wanted to do did not work. And I tried it two different times and it's just not going to work. And so I'm very upset about that. Because I really wanted it to work. I really liked the idea. So, anyway. <sighs> and yes, I wore gloves. But... And I washed my hands, but they're still, like, filthy. And I'm not going to, like, clean this all off because, well, just some of it. So, how are you all doing since we last chatted? Make sure I'm still in. See, I get. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this to deter it from moving. Doesn't have to be great. Like I said, I'm just trying to get it to keep from moving quite so much so that I'm not completely out of frame. There, let's move you on up just a little bit. Just a scotch. Okay, that's good enough. Good enough for government work. Alright, since I'm a fan of yellow and it's Spring and happy, a little bit more than I wanted. Let's do a little bit of purple. That's why a good idea not to shake it over your thing. What goes well with purple? We'll do a little bit of this fuchsia. Ooh, I didn't tell you I got when I went to home. I was saying I went to Costco. I got one of their fuchsias. And she's pretty. Except for when I got home, my dog was so excited that she got into the car. I, I stopped on the way up the hill, the little hill, to uh, drop off a bag of dirt. And so I didn't have to take it everywhere. And so she was excited. And I didn't think she'd get into the car, but she did. And she tromped all the H-E double hockey sticks all over that thing. Broke some of the tips off. Boy, howdy, was I stinged at her. And she got it. She got it good. She got got in trouble. Got yelled at. Got sent to her crate. She's very well crate trained. The former owners um, trained her. Well, they, they crated all their dogs a lot. They had like eight dogs. And so when it, and they worked all day, so they created her. Oops, try not to bump the camera too much. Um, ah, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. If I, I tell you to look away, but it's too late. So we're just gonna do this. I feel like it's dark. I see a shadow, I hope. I hope it's not too bad for you. It doesn't seem to be. So anyway, so it's a nice day. We're supposed to have lovely weather for the rest of the week, except for, I think it's Saturday or Sunday, it's supposed to be 90, and I don't do 90. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No way. No how. So I've got to somehow drag my, uh, hmm. there we go. Look at that. That's pretty. I like that. No one else might, may, but I like it. And that's what's the important part. Ouch. That's the important part. 
So let's see. Let that dry. Um, anyway, it's supposed to be 90. I have a, one of those portable air conditioners for my bedroom area that I got. I need to get, get out from the shed up top. Oh, the other thing that I did is I cut around these to make them easier to stamp and so you wouldn't have all this cardboard like I showed in the first first one. The reason I realized the reason I didn't do it before was because these the ones that I did with the shapes pretty much went all the way to the edge. So it really didn't matter. Gosh darn it, I'm trying to find a spot that I can set my stuff that's easy and isn't in the way and doesn't bump the camera because I have it plugged in. Just in case. Would not do to lose battery. Alright. Try to get... Uh. Boy, up there. Just... A little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. I did not get paper towels while I was at Costco because they were not on sale. And I'm just picking over here, trying to. Like I said, I'm playing. No rhyme, no reason, just plan. And then what I'm going to do here, oops, boop, 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 do some of the water spritz. And then kind of do. light. I like how you can, I let it dry enough that you can still see the shapes behind it underneath. So I'm going to do another piece of paper. And then, and then, oh for crying out loud. It's hard to get that off. And this is what I'm going to do this time. I'm going to try to get it as close to the edge as I can. Oops. Oh. I keep dropping my thing off my lap. So yes, nice weather coming up. The rain is gone for a while. If I go out and water my maple out front that my good friend gave to me a couple of years ago. And it sat in its pot until last year. Um, my son was with me and his dog you know, was in the back and his dog accidentally broke one of the branches off when it was still young. So it's you know, like half sitting up there and it makes me sad every time I see it. Okay. You can still see a little bit of the pattern and some of the other color. And so that's good because it brought it up. So I'm going to go over here. You're not going to see it, but I'm over this way because I hung up two uh, tw strings of twine specifically for this purpose. So they can hang and dry. And actually, I'm still here. I'm still here. These are the ones I did when I showed you the stencils. When I made the stencils. So here they are. And they were over there drying. All right. Let's put some of this vanilla ice cream. I really like this and I need to get more. I like how it blends things out. And I'm trying to think of if I have any of my big bottles in the color that I like. Huh, still here. Well, no, but actually, hang on. Ooh, look, I found a spring green. We will. 
that out of my hand. So I have a big one of bright red. Eh. We're gonna, I'm gonna actually try the nutmeg, the burnt umber, and actual spring green. Who would have thunk it? So, I haven't touched these paints in a while. Back when I did home decor, I got a bunch to see what I could do with it. So, there. All right. And I never did look up to see who the mother daughter duo that I really like. But if I remember, I will. Now, the thing with these, and maybe it's just because I'm using too much. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it always reminds me of maize. Um, they tend to slide. I think what new have I been doing or wanted to ask? Let that dry up a little bit. These, unfortunately, and they said they weren't, but I had to try. These are not good for regular stamping on paper. They're for clothing and something like this. And I think they're actually advertised for clothing and not for mono printing. But, you know, they accomplish what I want. So, yay them. Yay then. Okay, so now this time, actually we're going to do coffee filters. I have a Keurig, so I have no need for coffee filters. Except for when it comes to crafting. And I'm just going to kind of overlay them. So I get all the goodness. Oh, my fingerprint will be in this one. Yay. And then these are obviously more fragile. Fragile. I did not watch that movie for the last couple of years. Except for this last last year I watched it. But I had missed a year or two in between. Ooh. So it does work. It's going to be a little bit wrinkly. Oh, no, I like that one. You can see it of these wooden stamp blocks. So once those dry, I will, uh, I can go and do it again with those and kind of fill in the gaps. And I really like this pattern. I'm really liking that pattern. So, I'm going to try to see if I can keep it. And just lightly mist. There. Just to kind of activate it a little bit. And the nice thing is it seems to be, and I could be, oh, completely off base. Darn it. The longer you let it dry within reason the cooler and more um, solidified is the only word I can think of. The patterns seem to be. One day I'll get a Barron's. One day. There's some really, there's this guy that is close to where I live in Washington. He's in Olympia. And he makes, does woodworking. He makes some beautiful, beautiful things, and among them are barons, you know, wooden barons. And oh, there was an abalone inlaid one that was just absolutely gorgeous, you know, outside my price range for now. I mean, I'd have to save for it, but and it got snapped up quack, quick, quack, quick. So, you know, I like how that turned out. It almost looks like a sun. 
I really like that. Sorry, I get I get all looking at my what I do and see more and more out of it. Let me go hang this up. Only because I have so only so much room around me. And I really need oops, need to clean my craft room. My craft is oh, it's it's horrendous. I would not want anybody to come here and look at it. Although, sometimes it's nice when you, like, take pictures or show it to somebody because they would never say anything but the shame factor, <laughs> which shame can be a good thing. The shame factor gets me to galvanize to clean it. I think it's because I see it through someone else else's eyes per se not actually and so I'm able to all right so I'm just going to try this there's not much on here as you can see activate a little bit this is just something I do don't know if I'm supposed to don't care you do you you do you boo and let them do them Dang it, I'm going to put it on crooked. It's really hard to see because it's smaller than the paper of where exactly I'm placing it. And I've really been having a hard time focusing lately, you know. My glasses are a new prescription. I see just fine out of them. I don't need new glasses, but I was telling my neurologist that the other day. Um... You know, not that I'm trying to garner. Ooh, dog, look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that, pretty. Oh, that turned out well. I like that. Barely there, great, great, great for um, backing cards. I mean, even if you wanted to do this in junk journal as it is, I mean, it's just absolutely, <gasps> I'm in love with my own work. I know, probably not popular to do that, but if you don't like it, isn't that nice? Ooh, and the stamp turned out. See, this is what you can do with a hot glue gun and some cardboard and all those packages we get that we're not supposed to. We pretend we don't get them. <laughs> we try to hide them. Anyway, I derailed what I was saying, but that's okay. Now, this is where I'm not unsure of how to get the ghost print that stuff off of it. I've never kind of figured that out. What we're going to do, instead of just holiday green, I don't want holiday green. We want some more of this spring green. It's been a while since I used it. Shake and shake to catch a bottle. So, ugh. do a nice yellow for the sunshine on my shoulders. So I'm trying to watch my favorite TV show before it leaves HBO Max. Not that I don't have every episode on DVD, but no. It's on HBO Max so I can watch it in my crevice and I don't have to worry about you know, well, I only have one TV, so shocking, I know. In America, having one TV in the household is just kind of odd. But I had two for a while. There was, well, when I moved in here, there was a small one, 36 inch. I say small. Um, a wall mounted one that was in here. But they left. And so graciously left it. Thank you. And then I had a bigger one that had been refurbished years ago. Um, man, I got that thing in 2015, so in the land of electronics, it was ancient, and it wasn't very good, and it was down here, and so I put the little one upstairs. When I first got here, I put the little one upstairs, and I had the big one down here, and then I just, I don't need two TVs. I mean, it was nice when my son was here, came to visit, he could have a TV, but 
once a year just wasn't wasn't worth it to me. So a friend of mine didn't have a TV. He was wanting one. And so I permanently loaned it to him. So now he has one and he's happy. All right, where's my little, not that one. I redid this, oops, sorry. Redid this one. Look away, look away, too late. Already been in the scene. Here, this is the one I was looking for. And I don't know if I made it worse or better. I did uh, try to put a little bit more hot glue on it to see if I could even it out, but I'm not sure how well of a job I did. See, this problem when it's slimy and slippery. that music I sure can 80s the 80s all right now we are going to try not try I know it works because I did it tracing paper and again I'm trying to get it down there so So this, yeah, I'm gonna have to let it dry. And unfortunately, this is like a vellum. When you get vellum too soggy, it curls up on you. When you glue it, I should say. Oh. So yeah, I'm looking outside and it um, is clouding over a little bit because you know we're partly cloudy today or however they want to say it and what did I say good night okay there not that it will match but who cares right who cares I just want to get some of this off of here so, that way I can do, I think this is what they call a ghost print. I used to know a little bit more about it, but I haven't, I haven't watched anybody do this for a while, so you kind of, I lost the lingo there. But a ghost print, if I remember correctly, is when you pick up the pattern that's underneath you, I know someone out there, Tommy probably knows, so drop it. <laughs> so drop it in the comments. It's like, I'm a trivia queen, but not on that. I used to be. I know the longer you leave the set, the better it does. Um, but that's great if you have an extra jelly plate. But if you don't... You know, you're stuck here all day doing four of them because, oh, gotta let that dry for half an hour or whatever. Let's see what my bathroom reader has to say for the day while we let that sit. Ooh. All right, so this was, this is two years ago calendar, but let's see. I gotta go all the way back. I mean, look at all those pages I haven't torn off because it's buried. What is today? The ninth. All right. I'm just going to rip it off to the 12th, 10th. You, tomorrow, it will be two months till my son's 30th birthday. Oh my gosh. I do not know how he got to be 30. I could stop getting older. So, May 9th, happy Mother's Day. Hedy Lamar, oh, I know this. She was also, Hedy Lamar was not just an actress, she was also a scientist and an inventor. In 42, she panted. Patented the concept, pan, patent, patent. Oh God, I can't say that. I know it. It's just not gonna roll off my tongue. A concept called frequency hopping, which allows a message to jump from different radio frequencies, so to as to avoid detection and blockage by another party. She donated technology to the world, world's U.S. World War II effort, but the military didn't know what to do with it. 
private sector picked it up later on, and Lamar's technology formed the basis of how a number of modern gadgets privately operate and communicate, including Bluetooth, GPS, and Wi-Fi. Wow, not just beautiful, but smart. The only woman to found a major American city, city Julia Tettle, the mother of Miami, Florida, in 1896. Wow. That's awesome. That is really awesome. So, oh, okay. Are we going to have a good video today? I forgot to ask Mr. Eight. Mr. Eight. Okay. Without a doubt. I don't know if you can see that. But without a doubt. Yay! Mr. Eight agrees. All right. Wasted enough time and it didn't do anything because it was too dry. So this is not a fail. I would not call it a fail. I would still use it. You can still kind of see. It's just not as pronounced. But let's see what we can do with this one. Since tissue paper doesn't like it because it gets too wet, let's try. I'm trying to figure out how to get more of it on here. like scrambling for something else to put on here. Why don't we do this? Eventually, I got a bunch of these little page a day calendars. A couple of them are out, you know, a couple of years old and they were like 99 cents, so why not, right? In order to eventually make journals out of them, box journals, I kept the boxes. Yeah, that's not doing anything. Hmm. Huh. So these are kind of, that's kind of a fail, not these, but talking too much, it dried out. Yeah. All right. So let me go back over this. Wet it a little bit and see what we get. Because it's just plain and learning techniques and what did I say we're saying do five, pull 500 prints and then do 500 more it, it, and they were talking about learning how to do this and and I mean they can make some fabulous looking you know pictures with like ladies or cars or what have you just by doing this and I'm like what obviously I can barely get the hang of it the first time okay a little bit a little bit a little bit so we bring out the sparkly the sparkly And this peacock pearl. And I'm going to use some of this vintage tea rose, which looks an awful lot to me like this rosy mauve. Ooh, shoot. Ah, that... It's really almost out, so this is what you do. Oh, there we go. Whew. Whew. Did y'all see that? I know you did. It's only in my sparkly ones because I'm trying to let it come to the front. So, and then we're going to add this little bit of light pink. Ooh, such an exotic name, light pink pink. It's a little bit, feels a little bit, um, gloopy, gloppy. There. 
Oh, I was watching one of those reels on Facebook. I get a kick out of some of those. And like one of those people working smarter or whatever, different uses. And it was a snow plow one. And one car or truck or whatever, they had a table just like mine. It looks so much like this one. It, it probably was the same kind. And um, they had it hooked up behind their car. They were, you know, like by ropes or something. So it was a little ways back, a few feet. And they were just um, plowing the snow with it behind them. And I was like, oh, well, there's an idea to use with my craft table. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. It wasn't just that. It Now that I come to think about it, they had like one guy who was, they were building houses. They were contractors, construction workers. And they were leveling off with the wood and then different lengths of wood and so he had the he was standing in the back of a I don't know what he was standing on quite honestly because that wasn't in the forefront it could have been a backhoe or something like that but they were driving it very slowly forward as he was just going by with <laughs> its circular saw see I don't even know the names of the circuit the saws is it a circular saw I mean I assume it is you hold it in one hand it's one-handed one and it's got the circular saw so, makes sense. But I don't know if that's the one that's on the table. Who knows? I certainly don't. Trying to make sure. I think I got out of frame. So, this is going to make... Ooh. Ooh. Sound like the little aliens in Toy Story. That'll be nice. That'll be nice. That'll be really nice. Over here. I'm not going to do too many more of these so it doesn't get again I'm trying not to make everything so long um thinking 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 where's my little where'd it go oh I here is what I haven't done yet um I don't know how well I'll come off of here because there it is Wait for my face. It's a little dry. Parchment paper. To the rescue. Parchment paper to the rescue. This kind of works. But, ugh, I'm crying in the bucket. Are you serious? Get your hands all over it. So it'd be nice for... Oh, that sounded really loud. I apologize. It'd be nice for like a window. I do have a little bit of room there and I'm using it all up. So, I'm going to bring this back down. See what I can do with these. I'll pick up a little bit more this time. The coffee holders, obviously, we've seen do work. And I guess if you really wanted to be a sticker about it, you could go over it with um um you could cut them to fit so they would lay perfect if you're so inclined i was not i didn't care enough to Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my favorite rose gold. There's a shock. I know. Say, shush it. I've been on a rose gold obsession for years now. I mean, well, for about four, three, four years. I just think it's so pretty. Not too pink. It's Goldilocks for me. It's not too pink. It's not too gold. I'm not a fan of straight gold. Just never have been. I mean, I like this one. I like. Okay, this is brushed antique gold, which is not my favorite. That's not brushed bronze, I don't think. But this one. Brush gold is. 
don't know what the difference is to me, but brush gold, I like. So I'm going to go back and do this on paper because, you know, actually, I'm going to do it on this tracing paper. I'm trying to use my tracing paper sparingly because I told myself I can't buy anymore. now and so I don't want to use it all up I didn't want to spend any more money on it this month there we go so I had forgotten all about I'm off on the schedule by a week I thought Mother's Day I still had another week I don't I do not I was over there pinning it up and it did not want to pin. And no, I didn't do anything to that one. Oh, do ouch. That really hurts. I had cut my finger when I was cleaning scissors because I'm a doofus, you know. Hello, my name is Dorcas and I'm a Dorcas. Anyway, and it was almost healed, but my fingers were really dry. And then it just, I don't know what happened. But here's the cut, and then right here, the dry skin just opened and ripped open my skin. And it does not, it is not happy with me. Because it said, you know what, I've had enough of your nonsense. Even though I do wear gloves. Alright, I think this will be our last one. Oops, shh. I don't know if you saw that. I put it on the table. Again, why? <gasps> oh, for crying <laughs> I just quit while I'm not ahead. Quit while I'm behind. All right. There. I'm not a fan of teal, but I do like this. And it is kind of a teal. Let's try this one. <laughs> Run your thing. I think maybe I'm just getting hungry. It's a little after one. There. Let's do this one. Because I've done that one, that one, this one, which I think turned out really well. And this tulip, which I'm not happy with. I'm going to... Come on. There. Yeah. There. Let's see what that does. Not liking it from my view very well. I haven't been sleeping well. Last night, I, I mentioned in my other video, so last night, which would have been Monday night, and this will go up Thursday. I did not. I took a whole Unisom, and it just, wow, makes me so groggy the next day and very hard to wake up. Oh, that looked nice. That worked out nice. Good one to end on. So, I used all of my things that I made. So, we get to see, got to see what kind of patterns they turned out with. And I used, I showed you what it looks like on vellum, on coffee filters, and the other ones are hanging up, but on um, tracing paper. So, I think this is a good video. I hope it wasn't too boring, too much like ha 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 paint drying for you. And that you'll come back for more. So again, as always, um, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it greatly, more than I could ever express. And if you like, again, if you like what you've seen, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment that really helps my channel work um like 
comment, subscribe. And until the next time, peace out. Bye.